What's up, everybody? And welcome to episode 3 of the Valheim playthrough. We've got a lot of exciting things to get through on this episode. So the first thing we're going to do is get some copper and tin smelted up. We're going to build our forge, and we're going to get into the Bronze Age. There's a strong possibility we might be ready to go ahead and find the Elder and take that boss on as well. We don't have a marker for him yet, so I don't know where to look or where he is. But if we do happen to stumble across one, we might be ready to get there once we get our bronze equipment set up. Check our map real quick. See where our copper outpost is. It's this one over here. So we're going to run over there real quick, pick up all the copper that we have, bring it back, and start getting it smelted. Alright, so we're here for the final run back at the dig site. We're going to get the last bit of copper picked up here. Taking about four or five runs back and forth to get it all. I think we've got just under 120 copper, about 30 tin to get smelting. We'll take this, head back to the base, and get started. Back at base here, and let's go ahead and get the stuff loaded into the smelter. So from our dig site, we ended up with about 117 copper and a full stack of tin. Probably going to have to head out and get some more tin, but we can do that while everything's smelting. Let's go ahead and get these loaded up. Oh, I'm stupid. I put these in backwards. Alright, well, we're going to have to tear these down and flip them around. Now that we've got our smelters placed in the correct orientation, let's go ahead and load them up. And it looks like it'll take about five minutes for them to smelt everything up. While we're waiting for that first batch to finish, one of the things I was thinking about after setting this all up is there isn't really an easy way to get the finished product. Once they spit out, we're going to have to go through the front door, go around the farm area, pick them up, and then come all the way back around to put them back in storage. So what I think I'm going to do is actually knock out this wall here and replace it with a door so we have a bit of quicker access to get out to the actual finished smelting items. Let's go ahead and drop that in here. Make sure we can walk over it from both sides. And we can't get back in, so we'll have to do another Another little cheeky stair implant here. Knock that out, put that there. There we go. We get the nice entrance ledge. That's fine. We're gonna put the forge over here in this corner, so that should be fine as well. Now we should be able to just run out here, pick up our completed items, run back in. That'll be a lot faster. Speaking of the forge, now that we just unlocked the recipe, Take a look. We're going to need two more copper before we can place it down, so that'll be easy enough. The other thing we can go ahead and do right now is upgrade our workbench with the tanning rack. So I'm going to put that out over here. I was planning on putting it... I was planning on putting it more over here. But I think that gets a little... a little wonky. It might just look a little better on this side anyway. Let's go ahead and drop that down and put it right there. That'll work nicely. Gives a little more flavor to that outside wall. Alright, let's get the rest of this copper. Now we should have enough to build the forge. Go ahead and put this down. This is a little, little guy. I think we might do him in that caddy corner here. Put it down right there. Awesome. We're gonna need tin in order to unlock the recipes for the stuff that we actually want to use. So we'll have to get through the rest of this copper and get all the tin smelted, and then we'll be able to make some more interesting stuff. So we've got a full stack of copper all smelted up. Go ahead and get the tin going at this point. Now to ensure that we put tin in, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in our inventory instead of having it pull from storage. We'll get these loaded up with this tin done as well. Went ahead and slept through the night, so that should have all the tin done. Reloaded these with copper. Let's go grab the tin. That should unlock a whole bunch of new recipes for us. We can put that all in our storage here. Let's see what we can make. Now everything that we're going to want to use is going to be bronze mostly, so let's go ahead and start off with that. 
Perfect. Okay. Now, first priority, most likely bronze axe, because we need to get some fine wood so we can make some portals and upgrade our furniture. Gonna need the cultivator so we can get our farming going, get all those carrots planted. And the mace and the buckler. Let's see, I don't think we're actually going to have enough. We'll have 30 bronze total, so to make everything we want, we're looking at 10, 18, uh, 23, we get the axe as well as another 8, so 31. Oh my gosh, game. They're always one off. It's like when they were designing this game, they were like, let's, let's make the resources even and the requirements odd. So they're always just one off. All right, well that's all right. We do know where some more copper is so we can get that. So let's go ahead and see what do we want to start with. I guess we'll start with the X. So we need to start getting iron wood. Then we'll upgrade our weapons next. Buckler will be the next one that we go after for that. This is a big upgrade for us as far as damage goes though. And then we can also upgrade it a bit. So that'll be nice. And now that we have the axe, we can go out and get some fine wood. If I remember correctly, it's actually some birch trees out here as well as one that we knocked down while we were clearing wood for the house. Let's go ahead and take care of this first. Excellent. Now we've got fine wood. Start working on the fine wood bow is going to be our first priority, but then also some upgrades and some furniture to get our resting bonus turned up as well. So I'm going to collect some more fine wood, and then we we'll, should have some more copper, we'll make some more bronze, and we'll get all this stuff going. We've got a little over a hundred pieces of fine wood now. Got some more copper, so let's go ahead and make up some more bronze. That's going to use up all of our tin. We have enough to make the buckler. Excellent. Should leave us with just a little bit of leftover bronze. We got four pieces left. Still plenty of copper. Now the other thing that I actually kind of forgot about is we do need to build the cauldron as well so we can get our food upgraded. That requires, I believe, ten tin? Yeah, ten tin. So, well, again, we're gonna have to get some extra tin for that. So now we're, that we've got some upgraded offensive gear, Go ahead and swap out our shields. Go ahead and recycle that one. Now we have the buckler. With this new gear, it'll make dungeon diving a lot easier. Once we have to get tin and we still need to find the location of the elder, I'm going to jump into a couple more dungeons. We can find some more circling cores as well. I think what I'm going to do is actually put in two more smelters across the back over here so that we can upgrade our smelting speed a little bit as well. But for now, what I want to do is Let's go ahead and make the fine wood bow. Get that upgraded. Let's see what's it take to upgrade that. A couple more deer hide. Half of our core wood. That's probably worth it. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. This will work just fine. Put it there. It'll get us up to level two. Then we can go ahead and upgrade our mace and get a little more damage out of it. Awesome. That uses up all of our bronze, but gives us a couple of good upgrades. Go ahead and get rid of our crude bow, since we're not going to need that one anymore. So the next thing to work on is boosting our rested bonus. We need to get some furniture down in here. Now that we have fine wood, we can actually make a few different things. But let's see, I believe chairs give you one... Tables give you one, and rugs give you one, and banners give you one. So we should be able to go ahead and do a pretty good upgrade here. We want to just put a nice little cozy chair. Maybe like a whole bench. I'm thinking we might just put a whole bench here. Like that. And then we can put in a rug, maybe with this kind of orientation here. Something like that. I got our resting bonus up to six already. We can put in a table. 
table might uh, hmm. table might look kind of weird. <laughs> we put it underneath the window, maybe. And maybe we just put it over here underneath the window. Eventually, I want to put some item stands on it and some like tankards and things like that up there. But that'll work fine for now. Then the last one that we can do is a banner with the black one. And maybe we'll put it. Maybe we'll put it over here by the door. We'll put it like right there. That looks kind of neat. Alright, now our comfort's up to 8. If we go ahead and rest here for a moment. We have 15 minutes of rest bonus now. And it's a good upgrade from where we were at by default. The other thing I'm going to want to do is in this area. This side gets pretty dark at night. What I'm thinking is right here at this crossbeam. Probably going to put in some sort of little chandelier situation. We'll see, but this area does get dark, so we're going to want to get get some light set up over here as soon as we can. But in the meantime, what we're going to need to do is go collect some more copper, uh, definitely collect some more tin, and then see if we can find the location of the Elder inside of a dungeon somewhere. Let's head back out to the Black Forest and see how that goes. Alright, so I went back to that little peninsula that was full of tin. Got some more tin, got it smelted up. Should be able to make enough bronze now to go ahead and finish off everything that we're looking to make with bronze at the moment. So I believe we need about 15 more. That'll leave us enough tin for the cauldron as well. We'll go ahead and make the cultivator. And... Pickaxe. Oh, we need three more core wood. Okay, well... That'll be easy enough to get, and then we'll upgrade the pickaxe before we have to go out and actually do some more heavy mining. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put this away for now. Put that away for now. Alright, now that we have the cultivator, let's go ahead and work on the front yard a little bit. The farming area. We'll drop that down right there. Get those growing, that'll be nice. That'll give us a good collection of carrots to start with. Then what I'm thinking is up here, we'll actually go through and put some more grass in. Alright, and then what I want to do is go ahead and put in a bush of each kind. So let's put in one blueberry bush here. Like that. And then we'll put in one raspberry bush over here. Rotate it around a little bit. We'll put it in right there like that. Now we got blueberries, raspberries, honey. That's great. Let's go back inside and put our cauldron in place. So we'll actually start using some of these higher level ingredients to make it some better food. Hopefully this fits the way I thought it would. Looks like it's going to be just fine. With these front legs. I wish they weren't they're like a little off center, which is kind of annoying. Maybe we do it this way. Hmm. Yeah. I think I like this one better. Go ahead and put that in right there. Excellent. We can do some Queen's Jam. Get some of that crafted up. Oh, that requires. Oh, that requires uncooked boar meat. Wish I hadn't cooked all that boar meat earlier. Alright, so let's head out and go pick up the core wood real quick so that we can get that pickaxe crafted. While I was out here picking up the core wood, I actually stumbled across another dungeon that's pretty close to home. Let's go ahead and jump in and see how they like our new equipment here. Got two closed doors, and only two doors to pick from on this one. It's interesting. Should go a lot fast. Oh, hello. Oh Should go a lot faster. Now that we can do this. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, well. Look at that. Just. Just smash everything up. No problem. 
gonna go so much faster. That one goes down, which is a little bit creepy. This one goes nowhere. Well, let's check out this down one and see. Okay, it also goes nowhere. So, all right, we'll get some more yellow mushrooms because we actually burned through all of the ones that we had back at home. Get those up. And let's go see what was behind door number two over here. Oh, it's a core. Door and another door. Can't complain about that. I think we had two extra cores. So with that one we should only need two more. And get another smelter up, which would be nice. Door number three here. ton of doors, and another dead end with no treasure. Okay, this dungeon kinda sucks. Unless the other path has some really good treasure for us. Oh, another core. Give me one more. Nice little stack of rubies too. Oh, there's a spawner. Take care of that super quick before anything anything high level pops out of it. All right, now this looks like a decent treasure room. No elder location, which is disappointing. I don't think I've had this much difficulty locating the elder before. Right, I do want those feathers. I want them more than this one scrap, I think. was another path here, wasn't there? Oh, I guess there was not. That goes in there. We didn't miss a door or anything, did we? I know I kind of rushed in here to get that spawner taken care of, but nope. Looks like that's all this dungeon has to offer. Alright, well, that was really quick, but a couple of good things. Should have enough to build another smelter at least now. And we've got the core wood to build the pickaxe. Let's head back to base and get that stuff taken care of. Alright, back at base here. We actually ended up with seven cores, so we're still gonna have two extra. But let's go ahead and knock out this wall right here. And then we'll put in another smelter on the outside. Make sure it's rotated around the correct way this time. Right up against the wall here as close as we can. That right there. Now before I go ahead and fill this in, let's not use all the core wood. And we'll craft up the pickaxe first. Go ahead and get that. Excellent. And the last thing I want to do while we're kind of hanging out at base here is go ahead and tear down the old one. We have no need for this anymore, so let's just go ahead and get rid of it. That should be everything. Tear down the workbench. And there we go. Now it's no longer an eyesore in our front yard. We have moved up. In the world. We are out of storage room for wood. Guess we'll start putting it up here in the seed and plant storage for now. Gonna have to start building more storage. I think I'm gonna turn this area into more of a kind of a structured shelving unit. Place all of this. I didn't really hate this but I don't really love it either and I'm thinking if we put some trophies up on the wall in between here I'd actually look a little nicer. So then this section you can just fill up as a storage area. Since we have an excess of wood, I might actually go ahead and start working on that now. This will work a lot better. And that gives us a little room. We can stick some trophies or some sconces or something up there to pretty it up a little bit as we as we see fit. 
And then we'll do the same thing around here. Put in some decorations on the walls. Maybe even just some more banners. Go over the edges or something like that. Not sure, but I like this. I like this better. This is a better storage system for what we need now. So now that we've got some improvements made around the base, we've upgraded our equipment, got everything that we need, we got our farm started, we got our storage upgraded. Now all that we need to do is find the location of the Elder, head over there, and start that boss battle. So let's go hit up a few more dungeons and see if we can find him. So this is something I've never seen before. Clearly in the meadows, buttered up right against a mountain. I guess that is Black Forest over there. The dungeon? The dungeon is in the meadows. At least the entrance is. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Alright, let's go ahead and check this one out. Keep your fingers crossed we can find an elder location. Let's see, we got two open doors to start with. Check out this one. Oh, this one's actually pretty much closed off. Let's check the other one. Door there. Open this over here. Some treasure. Another spawner. Take care of that real quick. A lot of cores in here. Not upset with that. This room alone will give us enough to build another smelter back at base. That's pretty good. Feathers. Alright, that's a decent start, but I need to see that. I need to see that location marker. That's what we're really looking for. Alright, that goes. goes nowhere. Excellent. This goes nowhere. Okay. Let's check out this one with the. Double doors at the entrance here. Nothing. And more nothing. And this one goes directly into nothing. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, still nothing. Alright. One last path to go. Got a door on that side, nothing on this side. Oh. Ultimate. Ultimate parry right there. Love when you can parry the archers. Not feeling great about this dungeon though. Started off pretty good, giving up a bunch of cores, but. Nope. I wonder if it has to do with its location. Because it's like in the meadows and right on the edge of the mountain and the black forest maybe maybe the generation on this one was just confused that's why it's so small and empty but unfortunately not what we were looking for so we're gonna have to go find another one we found another one over here on the edge we're still in that same kind of area that we were scanning around looks like this is actually a pretty small little mountain range here but let's go ahead and check it out Got a skeleton clipping. Wasn't there a door there a second ago? Maybe it just loaded in weird or I saw it wrong. I swore there was a door there. Coming up behind us. Can't turn around fast enough in here. There we go. Door there. No door there. Guess we'll check out this way first. A lot going on here. Not a whole lot going on there either. Okay. Hop down over to this one. Door and a path. It goes nowhere. And a door that goes somewhere, maybe. Little guy right here. Take 
carry him. See in red glow. Nope. More coins. More gold. More treasure. Okay. Was a little excited there for a second. I guess we don't need that as much as we need this. Alright. I mean, cores are good. I'm not going to be upset about cores, but we don't really need them right now. If we could find this elder location, we'll have all the cores we need in the swamp anyway. I'm not as excited about them. What is this? What kind of room is that? That looked like a huge room. Is that a ghost? There are a ton of skeletons in here. And it wasn't a ghost, it was just the dust from him attacking. I don't think I've ever seen a room like this in one of these before. What is going on? Door there. Oh, a lot more a lot more skeletons. Oh my gosh. Alright, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Oh, he's the one star, okay. There must be a spawner in there. That room is crazy. What is going on in there? And we lost our rested bonus, awesome. Where's the archer? Ouch. Take care of that. Oh, yep, there's the spawner. Had a feeling. Okay. Solve that problem. A lot more cores in here. More than we can carry, apparently. Uh, what did I do? What am I to see? Let's put that away for now, I guess. Fine. Get the rest of these quarries and treasure. Let's go back to this crazy chaos room. I'm gonna be so upset if we find this. It's a room I've never seen before, but no elder location. And it's really gonna bother me. Make me sad. Got in here. Oh. Nothing. Really, more than nothing. Alright, well. This was interesting. I don't, I don't even know how many of these dungeons I've been in, but. Never seen a room like this with the, the round pillars in it before. Too bad it was just as disappointing as every other dungeon we've been in so far. Alright, back to the search to find another one. Found another crypt over here. It's right across the street from a grey dwarf spawner. She's been very active so far. Oh, there's another shot right there. Just go ahead and get all poisoned up and the brute. Ooh, that hurt a lot of that shit. That hurt too much. Can't believe I screwed up the block on that. Okay. Well, at least I marked that out. I think it's pretty much due north of the base. That's annoying. I should have just went inside the cave. Alright, let's go ahead and just jump into this cave. Things are getting crazy out here. Alright. We did find one more on the way up here as well. Hopefully this one will give us the other location, but if it doesn't, do one other place to look around here. So far, this one's looking kinda boring too. 
Is that the whole area over there? Oh, we got this door leading to a spawner. Easy enough so far. Oh, come on now. Hey, 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 look at what we found. Look at that. Oh, it's glorious. Finally stop running around the black forest looking for dungeons. Alright, now we just have to hope that he's not super, super far away. Let's find out. Oh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Alright, he's not super, super far away, but I'm thinking this is probably the ocean up here. We may have to build ourselves a boat to get up there, which is okay. We can do that. But at least we have the location marked. I'm going to go ahead and finish clearing out this dungeon just so we can mark it off the map. And see if there's any other goodies in here that are worth taking home with us. Plenty of more cores. How many cores do we have on us right now? Three? I think we've got a pretty good amount back at the base to set up this door. Wow, okay. Nothing going on in door number two. Let's see what's behind door number three. Man, I love this. It's level two mace. It just tears through skeletons. It is ridiculous. Um, let's dump some of these skeleton trophies, I guess, for the, the rubies. Where did you come from? What's going on down here? Bringing all these skeletons to the party, huh? Get parried. Not nothing. I was expecting to find a find a spawner down here with all that action. Room with a lot more doors. Goes backwards. Eat some more berries. This will eat another honey too while we're down here. Alright, another core. Not too bad, not too bad. This door most likely goes nowhere like every other down door. Ooh, goes back up and then goes nowhere. Okay. It's just fine. What do we got for treasure in the rocks? Amber. Take that. I don't think, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think we actually cleared this area out. I got distracted by the parade of skeletons that came down. Nope, but there's nothing here anyway. Okay. that all the doors? That is all the doors. Alright, door number one was by far the best door. So, with that, let's go ahead and mark this off our map as completed. And we'll also put right outside the door, so I think it's like right here. Um, I want to use portal or dot. I guess we'll use the fireplace. Put a door spawner note there. That'll work. A little door spawner. We'll have to check. I'm not sure how many ancient seeds I have in storage. I know there's at least one. There's probably two. I'm not sure if we have three that we need to actually spawn the elder in any way. So I might come back to this spawner and grind that out. But for now, we're going to head back to base and drop off all of our treasure and whatnot. So we've made it back to base now. Dropped everything off in storage, repaired all of our gear. It's not too much more to do right now, since we're going to have to build a boat. I did, after we popped out of that cave, go up north a little bit more just to confirm that there wasn't, like, a path that would lead up to the Elder. But it is, in fact, all ocean all the way across here. This is the end of our island. So we are going to have to build a boat to get up to him. 
that'll give us something to work towards in the next episode. There's just a couple more things that I think I'll go ahead and do here, and then we'll wrap up this episode. And first things first, we did collect another queen bee, so I think I'll go ahead and put another beehive out here on the bee patio. Right about there. Alright, they're still happy. These are still happy, good. Nobody's too close to each other. Get all the honey collected, I guess, while we're out here. Our carrots should also be done. They are. Let's go and pick all these up. Give us some new recipes as well. Pick up in the cauldron. And obviously, we can make up some carrot soup. Do some deer stew. And some queen's jam. That actually all sounds like a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Now we've got some upgrade to our food. Upgraded all of our gear. I'm not too stressed about the bronze armor. And some of you at this point may be wondering why I haven't gone for troll armor yet. And the reason there is, as long as a troll hasn't died in your world, you won't get raided by trolls. And this little base would get absolutely stumped in a troll raid. So in order to avoid it, just don't kill any trolls. So that's why we haven't upgraded to troll armor yet, we're just sticking with the base leather. So I think that was a pretty successful run for today. Next time we'll work on our boat and getting up to the Elder and actually getting that boss fight crossed off the list. And then we'll be able to go into the swamps, get our iron, and do a whole other realm of upgrades and updates. Between now and next episode, I very well might go mine out some more copper and get some more bronze set up so that we can just do some furniture and upgrades inside the house. As you can see, when it's nighttime, it is very dark over here. So I'd love to get this Gonsa's set up to increase the light across this whole area. But for now, I think that's going to go ahead and be the end of this episode. Once again, appreciate everybody for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're enjoying the series so far. I will see you all in the next episode.